join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytails for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, I'm Bunnytails and welcome or welcome back to my channel where I watch a mishmash of a whole bunch of different things that are completely unrelated to one another. But um, as far as movies go, we have kind of been doing some movies from the 80s. We did start with Alien, then we did Aliens, and then Terminator, and now we're doing Terminator 2, and I want to do Blade Runner next. I'm very excited. These are so much fun. If I have seen this movie before, I really don't remember anything substantial, so we're just going to say that this is my first time, because it might as well be. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this. This is a classic. I know a lot of people were wanting me to get into this series, the Terminator series. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And let's just get into it. Enjoy, guys. Let's watch Terminator 2. Los Angeles, 2029 AD. lived only to face a new nightmare oh my god that startled me i was trying to raise my volume a bit and crunch <laughs> look at that wally armageddon like doom bringer in the back there kind of rough to think that even if they um the computer which controlled the machine and two terminators to destroy the leader of the human resistance John Connor yeah so right here they they didn't prevent John Connor from being born but even then all this all this stuff still happened even before the second was set to strike at John himself when he was still a child yep yeah. I had a feeling they wouldn't stop at that one attempt. It's just a question of which one of them would reach him first. Arnold is back! What a terribly bleak timeline this is. So much death and destruction. I love it. I probably mentioned on this channel before, but post-apocalyptic settings and stories are some of my favorites. I don't know why it just fascinates me. It's a lot of like, what if, like, what if our future really was like this? And this is just a glimpse of some of the great cinematography we're going to get in this movie. If it's, if the first was any indicator, you know? And we got portals this time. Oh, but the... The nakedness is still a thing. So I believe not the same cyborg as before, but just the same like model, the same humanoid features, but completely different unit. Because we destroyed the last one, we, we blew it to bits. I'm guessing he didn't find any pants yet. <laughs> That's what I. That would be my... See, I feel like if I saw that, I would be, like, running away. Because you know that anybody who's walking around like that is not right in the head. Like, I wouldn't be like, oh, it's a male genital. Like, no, I'd be like, this man is not right and he's probably dangerous. Uh-oh. Sorry, bud. But you're his size. forgot to say please wrong move guess they're all gonna have to learn the hard way Ooh. oh shit oh 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 god that was very uncomfortable oh gee okay guys what is what have i gotten myself into with this movie Ugh. oh now they're running away see See, I would have already been gone. Take it. Oh. Now get off before I put you down. I like it. A 
A cyborg with a sense of style. <laughs> Cut clean through that. Android number two has a police uniform and a police vehicle and weapon. I don't think that's a good thing. Looking for John. Ten years old. John, get in there and clean up that big sky. Your foster parents are kind of dicks, huh? I wonder why he's in foster care. Hmm. This next patient is interesting. I've been following the case for years. Now, but wait a minute. They have Sarah in a mental institution? That's why she doesn't have custody of John? That is messed up. And also, that the father of her child was a soldier sent back to protect her. Good morning, Dr. Silverman. Jeez, she looks... Like a wild animal. See that she takes her thorns in, would you? I bet there was a time where they would just lock people up just for having like, like obviously we know that she's not schizophrenic, but even if she were, even if she believed this stuff, if she's not harming herself or harming anybody else, then to have her locked up like this is just awful. No trouble. <laughs> oh, that was just so uncalled for. This makes me really mad. Ah. Last call, sugar. Well, no wonder she's acting like a wild caged animal, because that's exactly how they treat her. That's how you give a dog medicine. Ooh. Are you the legal guardian of John Connor? You gonna tell me what this is about? Will you hurry up? This is taking too long. John is a little thief. Yes. Hey, it worked. Yeah. Piece cake. <laughs> that her? She's a complete psycho. Man. Poor thing. There he is. Mr. Kyle. Mr. Hunky Man. Where's our son, Sarah? You have to protect him. I know. You're strong, Sarah. I love you, Sarah. Aww. There is no fate but what we make for ourselves. I know this isn't the point or what I should be focusing on. And I know that this is also um, happening in her mind. So maybe it's not even the case in the real world, but how did she get her, la her legs shaved? <laughs> Clearly they wouldn't let her use a razor blade. All right, girl. Time to go. You know the dream's the same every night. Children look like burnt paper. It's not a nice image. <sighs> they fly apart like leaves. <laughs> I'm sure it feels very real to you. Oh, no, I can feel my mom's voice from the other side of the door. She looks pretty fucking real to me, too. You just made me say that I lied. You're almost as bad. Everybody. <laughs> Very intense acting. I feel much better now. Much improved lately. Trying to get out on good behavior. Can't even have visitors. I was looking forward to seeing my son. Let's go back to what you were saying about those Terminator machines. They don't exist. There would have been some evidence. So you don't believe it? Yeah, what did happen to the evidence? It was covered up? No. I like their uh, inflatable dinosaur. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you could tell me. I mean, if you, well, if you know where it came from. Don't ask. Is it the evidence of the squashed Terminator? Fancy security. See? They have it! Why is she locked up? I have shown improvement, haven't I? Well, I think you're just telling me what I want to hear. He's in great danger. He's naked without me. I don't see any chance that the next time she reviews the one she keeps thinking about is the flesh. 
Wow. Oh, okay. Well, she's desperate. Of course she is. You don't know what you're doing! This isn't a place where they try to get people to get better. Like, they're not trying to help anybody. They're just making people worse. You know? Like, of course, anybody who is in her situation would act like that. They would lash out. <laughs> it's like when I played GTA 4. The Galleria? So I think I might have missed it at the beginning where they said they sent back two cyborgs. Did they mention that... I heard them say that somebody was to protect John? Was it one of the cyborgs? I missed that, but I'm going to go forward with that assumption. But if that's the case, would... Do you know this guy? Oh, crap. Nah, I don't know. Oh, good, good job, kid. What's his name? Billy? We'll call him Billy. Man, there's this cop scoping for you. Split, man. Just go. Split yeah. like a banana split. Ah! Hey, man, I think I saw that kid. You were hey! Oh, poor Billy. Would it be safe to assume that future John got a hold of Terminator technology from Skynet and sent back one of the cyborgs reprogrammed to uh, do what he... Yeah, that would be <laughs> a little bit terrifying. Oh, that guy. Why didn't he move? So now we have cyborg against... Oh, whoa. That's crazy looking. Cyborg against cyborg, which means probably even more over the top. Ooh. Wow, we have fancy CGI this time. Or fancier. I don't know. More over the top um, action sequences. okay. He doesn't feel pain. He's very sturdy. Come on! Jeez, he can run fast. Good thing John seems very well, like, practiced on that thing. Ooh. Oh, poor guy. Come on, Arnold. Holy shit. The Terminators don't really know the art of subtlety, I've noticed. <laughs> or they don't care. That was cool. Just the fact that he can shoot that thing with one hand is crazy, but then all that twirly stuff, that's on a whole other level. He did not make clearance. <laughs> Get the shit out of my way! <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> I love that. Got him. Woo. Well, I think we know that that is not enough to take him out. But it should slow him down. See, even he knows that's not enough to take him out. He's like, he's going to pop right out of there. Maybe not. Not right now. Oh, wow. They use the same kind of... CGI technique in my favorite James Cameron movie, The Abyss. Time out! Come on, stop the bike! Now, don't take this the wrong way. But you are a Terminator, right? So either he never believed, he did think that his mom was crazy, but did listen to the stories, and now he says, okay, it's real. Or maybe he believed her the whole time. Deep down. I mean... Living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. <laughs> he just pokes him. <laughs> so what's the deal? My mission yeah, tell is me. to protect you. Who sent you? Yourself? You reprogrammed me to be your protector here. Nice. This is deep. It is. <laughs> I feel like I am John right now. John is like encapsulating everything I'm feeling. The other guy, he's a Terminator like you, right? The T-1000. Liquid metal. Liquid metal. I would. 
all the possibilities with being a liquid metal that can just, you know, reshape itself and into whatever form it wants. Shit. Or maybe there are limitations. <laughs> I need one of those guys. <laughs> If you hurry home, we can sit down and have dinner together. Something's wrong. She's never this nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's not how she was acting before. Shut up, you worthless- Honey, are you okay? Am I too late? It's about time. What's wrong with Wolfie? I can hear him barking. Wolfie's just fine. What are you? Ah, he's smart! The first the parents are dead. So... I wasn't even thinking of that possibility, but we already know that they can mimic voices. Now this model can completely change its form. This thing can imitate anything it touches. Well, why not just become a bomb or something to get me? You transform complex machines. You transform solid metal plates. Like what? Knives, stabbing weapons. Yep. And people <laughs> don't hurt Max. I will turn this movie off. <laughs> Why? So unnecessary. That's just cruel. Why would the writers do that? These were taken at a mall in Reseda. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Oh, now they want to get her for information. The crazy lady. Yeah, I wonder why. Dr. Asshole. Sure. Spent a lot of time in Nicaragua and places like that. But she could teach me how to be this great military leader. Oh, he did. I wasn't sure if he, like, grew up with her at all or what, but I guess so. Listen, we gotta get her out of there. Negative. What's your problem? Damn it! Let me go! Why the hell did you do that? Because you told me to. Do what I say, huh? That's one of my mission parameters. <laughs> He's like, well then. Dinner one foot. Yes! <laughs> this little squeal in his voice. <laughs> you okay, kid? Take a hike, Bozo. Damn. Fuck you, you little dipshit. <laughs> Man, this guy, I can't believe he called me. Ah! Ah! Oh, John. No! Those guys were just trying to help him. That's just sad. <laughs> Jesus, you're gonna kill that guy! Of course, I'm a Terminator. <laughs> He's like, that's- it's in my job description, it's in the name, kid. I'm not a Terminator anymore, alright? You're a protector. You just can't go around killing people! <laughs> this is funny. I can't just go around killing people? Why? He really doesn't understand that. Don't let this motherfucker in! Look at them cheekbones. You can't trust them cheekbones. <laughs> Don't tell me. Dude, what the fuck? Bite his fucking lip. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, uh, headbutt him. Get him. Get him. I'm glad he didn't try to go any further than that. How he could do that and she doesn't even blink. It's amazing to me. You have a Sarah Connor here? Hold on a second, I'll buzz you in. You got all the info she, uh, he needed. She's in there. What the hell? He can even be the floor? So when that guy even just walked over him with his shoes, he was able to copy him? Uh, this is way too much power for one cyborg to have. It was her. I mean, he kind of deserved that. Don't go around licking people's faces. He's the licky guy, right? Is he the licky guy? I think he is. No licking people, okay? I gotta say, the white tank top with the gray sweatpants and barefoot? A nice choice. <laughs> she is rocking that outfit. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, fuck this guy up. Broke my arm. 215 bones in the human body. That's one. 
I feel like I've seen that seen that quote somewhere recently. <laughs> I didn't know it was from this. Just put up your hand and say, I swear I won't kill anyone. I swear I will not kill anyone. <laughs> he doesn't even know what it means. 10 to 4, Monday through Friday. He didn't kill him. <laughs> He'll live. He'll live. <laughs> This is amazing. What is that blue stuff? On the floor, hold it open. John's not the only one who's been getting some uh, combat training, huh? It's a good thing she's not super large chested, or else this would be very painful to run <laughs> without any kind of uh, support. Nice. I've never seen anybody do that before. Break the key like that. I like this very like self-sufficient Rambo like Sarah Connor that we're getting in Terminator 2. Yeah, and she is not going to want to trust that face. Mom, wait! Oh. Kill us all! He won't kill anybody. We'll just severely maim them. Damn. That chick can fight too, and she's already got a broken arm. She put up a better fight than any of them. Come with me if you want to live. It's okay, Mom. He's here to help. Wow, she... She trusts her son. Now that's the guy you gotta look out for. Wow. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck is it? How did they do that? I mean, I guess it's all all CGI. Oh my goodness! Man, she's got some muscles too. She must have trained for this role. Oh, here, here he goes. This guy can run. You better get out of there. The music is, it's kind of different. Like, there, you, it feels more frantic than, like, kind of spooky. Because it doesn't have, like, those horns. It's more of, like, a, a string thing, I think. And maybe a keyboard. But it's still very effective. And it's, it still seems similar. It's just kind of evoking a different emotion. Like, more frantic. Yeah, but I definitely feel like it's similar enough that it's it still seems like it's the same. It's it lives in the same family. If that makes any sense. <laughs> I just love the creativity with what they can do with this guy. He's like a freaking pterodactyl like. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> clink clink clink. Okay, are we safe for now? It's intense. <laughs> yeah, better safe than sorry. Yeah, smart. I wonder if he can reshape a piece of metal that has become completely disconnected from his body like that. If he could control it in a way. It was stupid of you to go there. He wanted to save you. I had to get you out of that place. I need your help. I can take care of myself. Well, you would have been... Oh. Oh. Now you made him cry. What's wrong with your eyes? He feels guilty for... everything. Watch it, lug nuts. Lug nuts. <laughs> Will these heal up? Yes. More human. I'm not such a dork all the time. <laughs> He's a dork. The CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. The scanner teaches the switch to read only when your friends are alone. Doesn't want you to do too much thinking, huh? Can we reset the switch? A bunch of 
Raspberry jelly in there. Ugh, I don't like that sound. Want the CPU by its base tab? Okay. I feel like this right here is definitely putting his mission. No, no! Yeah. In jeopardy. I feel like he wouldn't. But we need it. Mm-hmm. She doesn't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't blame her. Ooh, John. How do you expect anyone else to? Ooh. All right, you better put him back together. Are we learning yet? <laughs> Get her some shoes. Poor Sarah. She is just, just very um <sighs> gruff. What's the what's the word? No 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 no. Abrasive? You don't say affirmative. And if someone comes off to you with an attitude, you say eat me. <laughs> That's where it comes from. Or you could do combination. Chill out. Dickwad. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Let's see where this is going. Smile once in a while. Watch. Oh boy. How's business? Give me a break. Okay, bad example. <laughs> see that guy over there? That's a smile. <laughs> oh, that is horrifying. <laughs> we got a burger? Man. She has had it rough. She has had it no. rough. No. Ten years. You need to know how Skynet gets built. Name is directly responsible for my extended license. Project started on Fission Corporation. In a few months, he creates a revolutionary type of microprocessor. It becomes self-aware at 2:14 a.m. Eastern Time. Jesus. It's horrifying. How much do you know about Dyson? I have detailed files. I see everything. I know everything. Now is she going to become the Terminator? And try to just take this guy out. This Dyson guy. What is up with the licking in this movie? Nobody like being licked. Take the kids to Raging Waters today. Raging Waters? I can't. I remember Raging Waters. That's actually a real place, right? Bit happens. Maybe this is going to blow them all away. It's a, yeah. It's a neural net process. Literally. It is by comparison. Yeah. Look at that old ass computer monitor. This close. See, my first computer that I remember having in my family looked similar to that. <laughs> hey, hey, raging waters. Yay! Yeah. Can make something that cute artificially. Yeah, I had an Amiga 500 floppy disk drive, MS DOS. I played Frogger. <laughs> it's that's a key. He's a uh, Uncle Bob. Okay. That's a big gun. So I guess this is one of the guys that she hired. I don't know if they were insinuating that she slept with them all or what, but she always plans ahead. Whatever, whatever was needed to be done to get them to uh, train John, or this is like this must be the weapons expert. Excellent. Excellent. I'm gonna wait till dark to cross the border. Okay. I grew up in places like this. Morning, gotta blow shit up. What a life. In a regular house. Kids were into Nintendo. <laughs> What's wrong with Nintendo? John, come on. I was just starting to like you. Are you ever afraid? You don't feel any emotion about it one way or another? It doesn't matter. Yeah. I have to stay functional too. I'm too important. Poor kid. Really didn't get much of a chance at a normal life. And then all this responsibility and expectations. <laughs> 
his face. Definitely you. <laughs> Was that a smile? <laughs> He's learning. I wish I could have met my real dad. You will. 45, I think. He hasn't even been born yet. That's so wild. <laughs> yeah, it does. Mom and him are only together for one night. I see her crying sometimes. Why do you cry? It's when there's nothing wrong with you, but you're in anyways. You're not really explaining it too well, kid. Give me five. Five what? Now hit me. All right. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> five low. That's <laughs> <laughs> scoff. <laughs> Of all the would-be fathers, this machine was the only one who measured up. Well, she changed her mind about that thing pretty quickly. Why is she messing up this guy's park bench? Well, picnic table, I guess. She's probably thinking, all, all this happiness, this carefree, this life, this human life, it's all gonna go away. So if she does prevent Skynet from being created, if she did prevent it, then she would prevent the need for John to send... Shit, what was his name? Other guy, um, to the past. So then John wouldn't be born. And then... I guess things would be fine, though. Skynet never... I don't know. My brain. Man, she looks so different with her hair like that. Oh, gosh. Jesus, fuck. No fate. Okay, we're getting geared up. But how in the world are they going to destroy something that's liquid metal? She's leaving? Is she going after the Skynet microchip creator guy? Oh shit! Miles Dyson! She's gonna blow him away! So if she does that, like, she might ruin her own life. Haven't you learned anything yet? Haven't you figured out why you can't kill people? <laughs> you gotta learn this stuff. I'm not kidding. It's important. I think. I think a child of his age is like just the the right person to teach something like that. Like, I don't know, right from wrong. Like, I don't think a, an adult could do could do it quite like that. Can't describe it. I feel like us adults, our minds are just muddled with so much crud that we kind of lose sight of. The bare things stripped down what, what's, like, really important. Because, like, a kid is just like, you can't kill people. People are afraid. They're, they get hurt. They're scared of dying. While Sarah and probably most of us would be one human to save the rest of humanity. And you have to have, like, a balance between the two. Gosh, there's children! Oh my god! Jeez. I think she's lost sight of... I don't know. It's like a very extremist mindset. And, and... Emotionless. Oh, she got him! Got him in the shoulder! Fucking move. There's children! Aww. Fuck it down now! Fuck, it's all your fault! Ugh. Jeez. I mean, it's because of his creation that such a catastrophic event happens, but he has no malice in him. He has a family. She can see that. She is broken. Gotta listen to John. See, little John says, no, you can't kill him. 
And 35 years later, or whatever, I want you to come with me he right still now. says no. Even knowing what's going to happen. Even living through it. Because John got a Terminator that he can program to do whatever he wants. And he chose to program this Terminator to protect when he could have given him the mission to kill. Okay, this is just... Why are they doing this? <laughs> is this necessary? <laughs> That's so gross. These poor people. Why? Why did we have to show them? This is what your creation becomes. Maybe they could talk him out of it. You're responsible for three billion deaths. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. He he has a choice now. Men like you built a hydrogen bomb, thought it up. Okay, but that's that's different. Okay? Like people who build a bomb, a bomb is to destroy. All you know how to create is death and destruction. Mom! But he is not <laughs> But he's trying to create something that will do good. No one must follow your work. Right. Work is good. This is what I do. This is what this is. Do you know about the chip? What chip? They keep it in a vault at Cyberdyne. This is not your mother. Fuck her. Oh. Very stuck, radically advanced. It must be destroyed. So, time is so circular in these. It's very confusing. Like, Skynet is derived from Skynet. <laughs> You know? And then John sending back his father in time to become his father so that he can be born, so that he could send his father back in time. To... <laughs> Carl, right? Mr. Dyson, now you know the rules concerning this and this. I insist. Poor Carl. Damn, John. <laughs> He should untie him so he could have backup. It's neutralized all the codes in the entire building. Nothing will open anywhere now. Let me try mine. Better backup. John, fire in the hole! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you can't go in there. The fire set off the Halon system. Halon system? What if there were people in there? Put this on. What would the gas do to them? Oh boy. Almost forgot about this guy. Oh, they really did destroy everything. Which I'm sure wasn't too difficult considering what our Terminator can, uh, is capable of. So... Definitely, I don't know if the people at the Pescadero hospital knew that she was, wasn't was crazy, but somebody did and still allowed her to be in there. I worked a lot of years on this thing. Yes! Dang. I thought it would be difficult for him to let go of his life's work, but I feel like he's rather repulsed by it after finding out what it what it becomes like it would take really strong emotions of of hatred and and uh disgust to kind of flip the switch that quickly of something that was literally like almost more important than his own family to him like kind of consumed everything it becomes his whole personality almost you know so would not be easy to let that go so I just think it really shows how strongly he feels about it can't can't come to fruition. Yes. Easy money. Easy money. No problemo. John's probably having the time of his life right now. How do we set them off? Remote control. I'll take you off the police. She swore. Trust me. <laughs> Definitely has more of a natural smile than his first attempt. Now, I'm sure he can shoot 
extremely precisely and also like um estimate where they're gonna go so that he doesn't hit anyone at least not in a vital spot right it's probably quite easy for him <laughs> he can he has like heat heat vision heat sensors so he can see if there's anyone left in the vehicles mission accomplished <laughs> But I think our other friend is coming now. So I think the casualties are about to commence. Miles, hand me the detonator. Not Miles. Oh no. Oh no. How is he still conscious? Shit, she's in the clean room. There's no way out of there. He'll make a way. <laughs> what about Get Miles? Down. What about Miles? Oh, no, he's gonna sacrifice himself. He's already it's already too late for him. Oh Miles. He was such a sweet man. His family. Okay, drop him! He's learning! Hey! Little smirk. Learning is fun, huh? Oh, here we go. Just like in the first movie. <laughs> Your chauffeur has arrived. Is he gonna... No way. Yeah. <laughs> it's him. Hey, final showdown time. It'd be funny if he just crashed into that bridge. <laughs> and then started just running. Uh-oh. Oh, that thing just crashed. Crumpled. Ah, uh, our ride's no good now either. Better get away, buddies. You are right. Ah, that poor dr truck driver. Where did she get hit? You hurt. Uh oh. Liquid nitrogen. Holy shit. Yeah, he's getting fast. What? It can't even go. <laughs> it can't even go 60. We need a new vehicle. We need a Lambo, Ferrari, a Tesla, even. Drive a minute. Where the hell are you going? I would not want to be the one taking the wheel right now. Probably take him a while to recover from that. Not too long, though. Ooh, that would have been super bad. Get the hell out of here! Yeah, get the hell out of here. That's a bunch of liquid nitrogen. That's creepy. AF. Oh! Lost your shoe and your foot, too. Okay, let's shatter him into a million pieces now. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah! But when the pieces melt, can they come back together? Oh, and there's just lava suddenly. How convenient. That is weird looking. How do you beat that? That's crazy. But he could just walk on like it's nothing. What? Hmm. He lost a bit of control of his functionality. 
I think his chip got a little damaged. No! No! Huh. That pose looks like Riel and Ergo Proxy with the gun like that, the camera angle. Wonder if they took inspiration from this movie when they made that anime. Okay, we have to destroy his his little brain chip, right? Somehow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no, we can't regenerate like he can. Shit. Oh, the effects are great. Gotta get rid of that arm. Come on, come on! I'm like so tense right now. Like, is she gonna die? That literally does nothing to him. Oh, ow. Arnold, where to John. She would endure as much pain as necessary. Fuck you. Hmm? He's way more important than she is, and she knows that. Plus, he's her child. <laughs> oh no. Literally like Windows 95 against Windows 11 right here. Ah. This is either the same or a very similar location as the last. It's the first movie and it feels very like, you know, we're seeing this cyborg all beat up. But last time we wanted him to just be destroyed already. And now he's our ally. Oh, no. No. Oh, that's hard to watch. She, like, needs medical attention ASAP. She's about to pass out from blood loss. Adrenaline is keeping her going. Basically. Now, John, he's a smart kid. He's back. He said he'd be back. That's not her. <sighs> that's the cyborg. John. Come on. Just one more. Oh, great. Drop kick him! And he's already healed all that. Oh, fuck you. Hasta la vista! Damn, he got fucked up. Hopefully that's enough to destroy the... The chip and everything. Wow. What a marvel of the technology that they, like, for at the time. Oh, goodness gracious. Did we win? I need a vacation. <laughs> You've earned it. Right, we have to throw, throw everything in there. Is it dead? Terminated. Terminator has been terminated. Throw it in. It's over. <sighs> There's still more. There's one more chip. Yep. That would be mission complete. I'm sorry. No! Don't you, John, don't. I can't take no, it. It'll be okay. Stay with us. Be... No, wait. Wait, you don't have to do this. Has to. Something I can never do. Poor John. He did his mission wonderfully. I wonder if he feels any fear right now. But it's over. No more Skynet. The unknown future lay toward us. I faced it for the first time in defense of hope. Because of the machine, the 
can learn the value of human life. Maybe we can too. No. I don't know if that's possible. You know, a lot of these movies from the 80s and 90s, I feel like they they had this message and I don't watch a lot of the new movies that come out these days. So I don't know if this is still like a recurring thing or maybe it's just maybe it's James Cameron movies cuz like when I think of this when I think of the abyss they always talk about humans tendency to destroy themselves and it's 2023 now and it feels like we haven't learned anything not only do we continue to hurt and kill each other but we're also at you know alarming speeds destroying the planet that we live on as well so um that's not a really pleasant thought to kind of pull from this <laughs> let me scoot over but you know some something happens to us when we get older to to some people they're not 10 year old john anymore you know they're not you can't kill another person because it'll cause pain to them. It'll cause pain to their family. You just, you can't do it. It's wrong. Like, there's no question. Then what happens? What happens when we grow up? So, about the movie. <laughs> um, definitely very emotional. A lot more emotional than the first one though the first one definitely had its moments as well and to see the change from sarah before and then sarah here was really tough to see how she was just in survival mode not only for herself for her son and for the entire human race like she she couldn't live any kind of a normal life even if she was out of that mental institution, she couldn't. But especially in there, she couldn't. Treated like a complete animal. And um, the effects, the visual effects were really, really neat. When was this movie? The first one was 84, right? 91. So, some years later... That was a really good time. Lots of action. Uh, lots of comedy. Uh, <laughs> Arnold did very well in that role. Everybody did really well. Um, but yeah, they gave, they gave Arnold some really good lines and he delivered them fantastically. Okay. All right. And then, yeah. Okay. So The Abyss, which I know I'm... I talk about it every time, but The Abyss was 1989, so they animated the water into, like, it came out of the ocean and formed, like, a snake, and that was the precursor to the CGI effects that went to making this um, second Terminator very good, very good. Thank you guys for recommending that I go back and watch these two classic movies. I'm going to stop there um, with the Terminators after the first two Alien movies, the first two Terminators. The majority consensus is pretty much like, stop there. And uh, the next movie that I want to watch is probably going to be Blade Runner. It's one that I've been wanting at least in the been in the back of my head for years like years that i i need to watch this you know one of the very first that i know of that i've heard about a lot of these kind of like cyberpunk is it cyberpunk i don't know but anyways that kind of futuristic robots and things when did that one come out 
1982. And Blade Runner has Harrison Ford, which, uh, who I really, really, really like. You know, because he's like Han Solo. Directed by Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott still makes movies? Still directs movies. He did Gladiator. He did this The Last Duel 2021. Alien Covenant. Wait. Oh, he did Alien and... Wait, he did Alien and James Cameron did Aliens. Oh, really? My mind just got really confused right now. Okay, sorry. All right, I should probably end this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought about um, my thoughts on the movie and what are your thoughts on the movie and... Um, do you prefer Terminator or Terminator 2? What do you guys think about Blade Runner? And, um, you know, if you guys have any more suggestions, start throwing them my way because I got to start thinking about what we're going to do after Blade Runner. And uh, I thank you guys for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next reaction or gameplay video or wherever. Bye bye.